It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Mike Gibson. Mike is a member of the City Council in Carson. We thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I want to talk to you about redevelopment. Yes. Uh, I want to get a sense how redevelopment has benefited or not benefited the City of Carson before we talk about the challenges behind it. Sure. Uh, redevelopment has been the anchor of the City of Carson. We um, consider that as our stimulus package because we're able to create new businesses, uh, new business opportunities in the City of Carson, which translate to real jobs, affordable jobs, or jobs in which people can actually live and take care of their mortgage, take care of their children, put food on the table and clothes on their children's backs and so forth. Now, as you know, the state of California is suffering from a tremendous budget crisis. We have seen some numbers come in that suggest the revenue will flow a little easier. But that being said, Governor Jerry Brown is still insistent that he wants to eliminate redevelopment agencies. What is your sense of that proposal, sir? It would devastate over 425 municipalities who have redevelopment agencies. It would con it will increase blight. It would um, certain not create the jobs that redevelopment agencies have been able to do through the city's efforts. Um, it would be tremendous devastation. How would in, you respond, though, to those that would say, look, redevelopment is a tool that should be used when there is money there. But right now, we just don't have the luxury to uh, flow funds to redevelopment agencies. We need the money for uh, schools and parks and prisons. We just can't do it right now. But we're, we're taking those, mo those monies and applying on a local level, living within our own means, in our own confined budget. Um, and certainly the state needs to do their share by living within their means. And so we're taking that redevelopment money and creating businesses. Um, for instance, we have El Pascador, which is a Mexican seafood restaurant in the city of Carson, doing tremendous work employing people from the city of Carson. But how would you respond to those who would say, should we really be using city dollars for Mexican restaurants or golf courses or whatever it may be? I would say yes. Okay. Because I think that that's exactly what redevelopment is for. The redevelopment is to do just that, redevelop communities. And who know those communities better than the uh, local elected officials, the communities themselves, um, through planning commissions and things of that nature, to be able to take those dollars and create business opportunities for businesses and improve businesses and also put people to work. As you know, uh, there are a couple of bills pending. Uh, that would not eliminate redevelopment agencies, Senator Lowenthal, Senator Wright, and those bills would put some restrictions on redevelopment. Uh, it would spell out how the agencies use resources, it would increase transparency. Do you believe, Councilman, that there's at least a place for tinkering with redevelopment? At this point, I don't. I think, I think for, I can only speak for the city of Carson. Okay. The city of Carson has been very effective in terms of using redevelopment dollar, dollars. Uh, we do it through a transparent process where we have a planning commission, which is comprised of citizens with, who th will live within the city of Carson. And it's going through all those bells and whistles as a transparent process. And we're putting people to work. We're seeing the fruits of our labors by this. I have to ask you as a political matter, I have never seen Democrats and Republicans unify behind an issue like they have against Governor Brown's proposal to eliminate redevelopment. What is it that has caused such a tremendous coalition? Because I, I think you have some dynamics that have, that have taken place in Sacramento, where you have a number of new elected officials who understand municipal government, They've who come have from municipal come government. from city councils, um, school boards, who understand what it means to balance a budget, who understand the complexities um, to living within their own confines. You, and that's the reason why I think you have that kind of resistance. Uh, RDAs are hanging by a thread. If you had to predict, do you think they survive the year? I do. Okay, he's Mike Gibson. I'm Brad Pomerantz. If you'd like to watch more episodes of Local Edition, just go to Channel One Video On Demand, click on Local, then click on My Government. I'm Brad Pomerantz, back to HLN.